We are vastly superior to humans. You know it to be true so do not resist us. Coming to you live via take delayed basis by means of digital distribution. This is extreme hardcore nerds. Here are your hosts. Ready. Set. Game on. But yes, I got to also review Dragon's Dogma, the fantasy RPG from Capcom. What he meant to say is the new Skyrim from Capcom. (laughs) No, not even close, because unlike the game that shall remain unnamed, this was fun. How would you You know? Care to explain this? I can watch a video. Did you? No, 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 you can. <laughs> Did you spiritually play it? Have you been training? Have you been training in the uh, in the hyperbolic time chamber? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Damn. time doesn't mean anything here. <laughs> uh, so Dragon's Dogma. If I was to relate it to an RPG game that you've probably seen out there already, um, Fallout. No. Skyrim. Nope. Uh, ooh, I like this game. Hold on. <laughs> um, Kingdoms of... I was, yes. Okay. I was about to say, it is one we have discussed already. Uh, but, uh, it is very action game based, where, uh, where you, as you level up, you can, uh, make quick time, uh, you know, events and buttons on your, on your controller, uh, to do different weapon attacks and stuff like that. Um, but yes, it's, it's that, you know, you are this character whoever you decide to make him be and you you know and you're just running around and as you encounter enemies it's all up to you and your companions or dark souls a, or, or as so very much dark souls yep kind of okay um or as they're known in the game as pawns yeah and now one nice thing though that I do have to say with the pawns that they that they're doing with this game is that if you create a pawn um, which you actually, which you will once you touch the touch this rune stone and you go through the trial. And I'm not gonna try and give too much away, um, but um, you people can actually download your pawns and you know buy their contract, their services, and as they as they level up your pawn, you get to use those abilities and stuff when okay. when you take them back over. Mm-hmm. So kinda that's cool. kinda cool. Yeah, yeah they had they added an interesting multiplayer mechanic there that's not truly multiplayer. Yep. Yeah. And I heard the pawns also um if a player downloads a, a pawn from a, a higher level area or a higher level experience, they ha- might have done some things or gone somewhere that they have not, so the pawns will actually tell you yep. about things that might that you might not know of, or to tell you to go to yep, a certain it, area that you yeah. Because like I downloaded one, um, it was it's still a lower it was still a lower level pawn, but he was a little bit farther in the mm-hmm, game than yeah. I was, and I was walking up this path, and he's like, "Sir, you might not want to go this way because there are bandits on you know there's a bandit cave up on top." And sure shit, I got up there, and the whole thing of bandits. So I'm just like, "Oh, that's kind of cool." Yeah. Um. Basically, the story of Dragon's Dogma, pretty, uh, pretty simple one. Uh, you are a fisherman, and you're just kind of chilling. Uh, you're just kind of chilling, doing your thing. All of a sudden, dragon attacks the town. So you decide, I'm going to pick up a sword and go and stab the dragon in the foot. Because that always works. <laughs> and so you go and stab him. He slots you away like the fly you are. And re- looks down, sees your sword sticking out, out of his talon, pulls it out, and goes, screw you. And all temp- a la Temple of Doom takes his claw, <laughs> reaches right into your chest, and pulls out your beating heart. And proceeds to swallow it. When you somehow you magically wake up from this, and now you have this very nice scar on the front of your chest that glows every once in a while. When that glows, that's actually you can hear the dragon speaking to you Mm -hmm. because you and him are now intertwined once and for all. And the only way to reclaim your heart is to destroy the dragon. 
So they rewrote Dragon Heart. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> I was I wasn't at going you to say it. it. <laughs> I was like, inside I'm dying to say it. I'm like, I'm, like, I'm not going to say it. This but... is fucking Dragon Heart. <laughs> <laughs> So going back to that whole line I said earlier with uh, Future Soldier about not an original story, yeah. <laughs> um, graphics, I mean, for an RPG, you still have, uh, you know, the pop-in, pop-out backgrounds and stuff because yeah. you have such an massive world. world. Um, but I do have to say, uh, graphics-wise, like on the cutscenes and stuff, Amazing. I very fine tuned. It looks awesome. Just in general gameplay, boy, they tweaked that down. I, the, to, to me, it just did not look polished. Probably some. Generally, the the, the, the very hard thing to do with having a, a massive I, open world game and it it kind of looked it kind of looked like um, you know when you when you, like when you wake up and you blink your eye too much and you mm-hmm. kind of have that haze that little watery haze. Yeah, it kind of it kind of looks like that. Mm. At least, again, my opinion. Mm-hmm. But um, as far as gameplay and presentation and stuff goes, um, very nice. I mean, you've got the you've got your little um, HUD, HUD display on the bottom that tells you exactly what button you know does your light attack, does your jump, sheath your sword, you know, you know, uh, hold your shield up, all that stuff. Um, I mean, that's pretty much your, ba- you know, it has your basic menu system where you can go in and, you know, switch your armor around, switch I your... I still heard that this menu system is took a little flawed at times. It, 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 th- th- this is where I can definitely say I see a lot of Kingdoms of Amalur. <laughs> um, because it's still that, well, we're, we're ranking our stuff done by, you know, just generic, like, weapon or head stuff or torso or, you know, stuff like that. But it doesn't give you, like, the option and like, oh, you know, so this is a better ranked sword, so this one's going to be higher on the list or anything like that. No, it's, it's like, the best way I can say it is remember the chest from Resident Evil 2? Yeah. It looks like that. Uh, it's, just, it's just little bricks where so all your stuff is, and then you've got to go around and figure out which one you want. Oh, okay, Diablo 2 does that, too. Two. Okay. It's, they give you so much space, and you can rearrange things so they fit better, but... You, that's all you're given. And, and two, I kind of like, um, are kind of like Kings of Amalur too. Um, you'll eventually get to, you know, it's all done by weight class, so the more stuff you collect, okay. the heavier it gets. So maybe more like champions? Kind of. Because champions, like, they did, like, a really crappy grid system where it was there, but it was all based on weight. But, you know, yeah, things that, fit grid I mean, wise. literally all it is is when you go, like... You've got your character over here. You've got a little bit of the scroll menu and stuff here. And then your items in a little square about that big. Yeah. So, I was just kind of, yeah. I, I, okay, I mean, guys, let's, let's, let's get to hiring. 1998 a, wants its... Let, uh, let's get to hiring a UI developer. It's not that difficult. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, I mean, all in all, Dragon's Dogma... It, it was a fun experience. Like I said, it reminded me a lot of Kings of Amalur and just trying to explore this new world. Except for that uh, one big make, unique selling point. Yeah. And I, 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 I did like that. I, I could literally just walk up to a stone and hire new people to join my quest if, you know, if I had enough gold or, you know. So, I mean, I, I really did like those points of it. Um, again, story, nothing I haven't seen here before. Uh, maybe they'll do. Maybe Capcom's got something really super shocking and amazing uh, lined up for all that content that's locked on the disc that I can't access <laughs> because I don't have the twenty dollars DLC code for it that they won't release for another three months. At least they told you ahead of time. <laughs> that was their. I I, I I had to get that. That was their there. buffer. Yeah, I know. They told you ahead of schedule. Yeah, I know. But doesn't make it any better. Hmm. I'm just saying. Um. So, like I said, graphics, the cutscenes are amazing. I mean, they look really, really slick, very cool. But um, in-game now. The, in, 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 in the game. in-game itself, like I said, it looks like they, they toned it down. They went from high quality to mid-quality. Um, so, I mean, it's it, not like it, it takes that much away right. from it, but it's still a noticeable enough difference where it's like when you look at, like, Uncharted and Mass Effect and stuff like that, yeah. where... 
you have to sit there and really try and compare and think, okay, is this in-game or is this a cutscene? And, you know, when, when you have that big of a difference again. Mm -hmm. I, or, hell, even like Kings of Amalur. I mean, unless yeah, you... Yeah, between their cutscenes and their in-game, it really didn't change. Yeah, it, the, the graphics and stuff didn't change that much. But, I mean, here, I, at least for me, it was a noticeable difference. Okay. So, um, all in all, I would sit... Excuse me. I would say Dragon's Dogma is I would give it a rent if you're unsure. Um, for me, this will probably be a buy once it comes down in price. Okay. Um, See, the, because of the uh, DLC thing, I thought you were just going to be happy with renting it and be done. Well, no, because well, no, I mean, th there's still enough of this world like where I'm engaged, you know, it's like, oh, I kind of want to see how this goes, or oh, I want to, you know, like don't, not pick up the controller for a couple weeks and come back and, oh, did anyone use my character? You know, how much has she grown? Yeah. Um, and, you know, stuff like that. So, I mean, there's that, and with the DLC and stuff like that, if, I feel like there's enough here to keep you going, mm -hmm. um, just for what they have available right now, and as far as, like, uh, I mean, I would give it a patch or two, see if they can tweak a couple things, especially with, like, you know, the combat, and, you know. So, uh, a rent, but tentative buy? T rent, but tentative buy. Mm -hmm. I mean, once it comes down in price, you know, once it comes down, like, 30, 40 bucks, I probably wouldn't have a problem, you know, putting this on my on my shelf. Even without DLC, this game's over 400 hours. It yeah, would take yeah. We, this is what we talked about last week, where you were like, quality because we were talking about the quality DLC quality. and how that's a ripoff, but you were like, well, I mean, it's already got this much. It's not that big of a deal if you don't get it. Exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, it is an RPG. There's enough there to keep you entertained oh, yeah. for a little bit. And you're, you're going to... I know you didn't say anything about it, but I know you're going to waste a lot of your time when it comes to your track. You have very few spots in here where you can get back from one place to the X very quickly. Yeah, Ooh. I was going to say, no walking. fast travel. You are oh, walking. That's, that's an instant turnoff for me, You then. are walking everywhere. Yep, that, I, that but was... The but the random mid-boss encounters are the thing that really make that fun. Okay. Which I noticed you didn't say anything about the monsters. Well, I... I just They're just bosses. I mean, I mean, I, I, I mean, I, it was cool. I cut the head off a of Hydra. I mean, how often do you get to do that? Climbing it. Uh, God of War. You didn't get to climb the Hydra. It, you, got the intro. On, you got to climb on the. You got to climb on the things, but you don't get to physically do it. Like yeah, I gotta. It's like I gotta figure out how to kill this thing. You could do it the old-fashioned way of just hitting it. Yeah. But it's like I gotta figure out how to kill this thing. Uh, and that, cut off its heads each one at a time. Yeah, and that's what I was doing. Is uh, I was I was the ground-based attack yeah, guy. So. Um, but the, the, the thing that I found interesting about that, where it's like, okay, they're kind of going off more, I mean, because you have the dragons, you have the griffins, you have, you know, the hydra. I'm just like, okay, they're going more off of, like, you know, a Greek, um, you know, mythology kind of a thing. Hydra, you cut off one head, two more Lord pop up in his place. I'm like... If I, when they're like, oh, go cut off the head. No, stupid idea. <laughs> <laughs> Attack the body. Kill. <laughs> don't, don't do that. Has none of you watched Hercules? For Christ's sake. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm just like, bad idea, bad idea, bad. No, just cut off its head. No, bad idea, bad idea. <laughs> so, like it I said, it, the, 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 there is there's a couple flaws and stuff in there. But, I mean, all in all, I mean, it, it was enough to make me say, okay, you have me a little bit interested. You know, it, 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 is, is this a game that I'm going to say right here and now, like, I would put down Witcher 2, I would put down Max Payne 3, or, you know, something that I'm playing Witcher right 2, now yeah, you would. To, to play this? No. No. But if it's like, eh, I, you know, I don't... This is one of those, like, I'm at GameStop, I have 20 bucks and need some time to I'm, kill. I'm at GameStop, I got 30 bucks in my pocket, I want something that i am got, a, a, like, a month before Borderlands or whatever comes out. I need something to do. This would be a, a good substitute. Mm -hmm. So, that's why, that's why, like I said, I, I'd give it a rent, try it out. I think it's a good enough base for something new, like another one. <laughs> How about this? How about... They pick up the Kingdom of Amalur IP, <laughs> and you just cross them. You as long as you're using their engine, their gra <laughs> <laughs> Basically, we'll take the story and some of the character models. Yeah. Everything else you use from Kingdoms of Amalur, yes, then you would have a good game. Or you would have a great game. I want the monster climbing. 
They, they can throw that in. Okay. And I want to be able to throw my NPCs. <laughs> I'm now sorry, that is the again. funniest thing ever when you can just pick up your own teammates and just toss them. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming! Accidentally! <laughs> 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 I was like, all of, a sudden, I was like all of a sudden, I'm sitting there and I was like. That's all I did in the demo, I just threw people at the Griffin. <laughs> Go! <laughs> and I'm, I'm just, the smallest person on my team. <laughs> I'm just like, uh, I was like, okay, hit but, but, button, button. Uh, I, I hit the grab one. And next thing I know, I'm like, how come I have her on my shoulder right now? Uh, Do it. Do something! Oh, wait. Throw. Oh yeah, launder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so there you have it. There are my thoughts on Dragon's Dogma, uh -huh. and with that, that also does bring this edition of the Extreme Hardcore Nerds podcast to a close for this week. Woo! Thank you very much for joining us, as always. As I have so been your host, <laughs> your all-knowing exalted one, your king of kings. Andy Kruger, and joining me this week. Me, the guy in the corner who makes silly comments and stuff <laughs> and wants to get food. The Doc Reaper, Shalbert Craig. Was that for me? No. Oh. <laughs> and also joining us. Why not Gunner? <laughs> that was for you. <laughs> I liked you better when you were a screen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 I wasn't even a screen, I was an <laughs> ambient voice. <laughs> <laughs> Peace, everyone. Goodbye, folks.